Yes, guys, welcome back to another Daily Market Outlook. It is Fabio here. Hope you had a great weekend. First of all, thank you for all the messages. I am doing well again. Thank you so, so much. Uh, back in the Netherlands, as you can see behind my old desk. So with that said, let's dive into today's market. In an hour time, there's going to be a live session inside the VIP community. So if you want to join in, link in the description down below. Without further ado, let's dive in. So EURUSD had that corrective price action in towards the highs. As we can see, we had that wedge drawn out last Thursday. So we had a high, a second high, and then a third high and then of course that aggressive sell-off due to fundamental news. Obviously what was happening was that we broke the high over here to our left and then straight away retracement we broke the high to our left and then straight away again a retracement so there was not a lot of bullish intention again also with kind of like this ascending price action which ultimately caused price to dump in towards downside. Uh, personally for myself there wasn't really a super let's say entry model whatsoever not really an ideal area to enter due to the high momentum in towards downside. Um, obviously down below over here, there was let's say a momentum entry in the sense that you just trade the overall order flow. So if you were to look at four hour supply and demand, we had an area of four hour supply, for example, inside of here, which then we reacted to after wicking out, coming back in and then again, pushing in towards downside, but not the cleanest of setups. Now looking at your dollar as a whole, um, at the moment, if we look to our left over here, let me just zoom in a little bit. We're currently reacting to, let's say, this imbalance over here. So this is kind of like the zone that we're currently reacting to, yeah? So in the history or in the past, we've already reacted to this over here, this imbalance coming over here, and now we're reacting to kind of like this area of consolidation over here with liquidity lying and resting below this area of consolidation. So we took out the stops below that area of consolidation, tapped in towards this area of demand, and now we are moving back in towards the highs, guys. So what I am taking into account that there is a possibility that your dollar is ready to push up higher once again. Overall, this is the low that we broke over here. So the overall, um, let's say highest high and lowest low, if you like are very mechanical, this is the highest high of the overall swing structure and this is the low. So we would have to look at it from this perspective over here. And then you see that there's still a lot of potential for your dollar to push up higher once again. However, obviously, if we look at kind of like the internal trend, then this is over here, your high, and this is your low. So let's see what happens. Um, the market should provide us with a pullback due to the overextended nature of it. Pull back in towards this supply zone, um, maybe take out the highs, and then we'll obviously see if we can look for a further downside continuation. If we just continue down lower, which is also a possibility, because if we look at the daily time frame, what you can see on the daily is that there's still some room to go until we reach this area of fresh demand. Um, then I'll just look for a long from here. So looking for a long from this area of daily demand on the four hour time frame, we are looking to see are we going to get some form of a change of character? Maybe one more push down, then for example, trend shift, then I would be looking for long. At the moment, not looking for any longs due to no shift in the overall four hour fractal structure. So that is your dollar for you in a nutshell. Moving on in towards the dollar index. Dollar index rose incredibly high uh, last week, as again, because of the fundamental news. What happens is that we liquidated this low, grab the liquidity and then just reverse it in towards the highs. So the daily is prevailing, guys. The daily is just continuing with its overall daily trend, which is nice to see because daily is obviously bullish from this low in towards this high. The dollar mainly uh, increasing in price due to fundamentals, uh, obviously what is going on in the Middle East. Overall, this is currently your sell before the buy. So keeping an eye on that overall zone. Um, so from this high over here at around 105, 100 in towards this low over here at around 103, let's say 900 inside of there. I'm looking for a potential continuation in towards the upside targeting 107 over here, uh, 500 approximately. So that's what we're looking for, guys. Just looking to overall trade a continuation of the trend, maybe a short term pullback before further upside going in towards AUD USD. What are we seeing here? Again, guys, uh, pretty much explained last week as well many times. Resistance, and over here we have support. So ADUZ has been consolidating ever since over here, since January beginning. So just consolidating, I mean, yeah, it's a it's a pretty hard pair to trade at the moment. All I can say is now we're again at support. So looking for a potential pullback play back in towards the highs. For that pullback play, what do we need? We need to see a shift in four hour structure. So what I'm looking for is pretty much this low to go over here, 
And then this, for, for example, to become your fractal high and then maybe like a longer term uh, upside move. This over here is your supply zone, but obviously there is no liquidation happening inside that supply zone. So when you have an area of supply and demand, when you see this, for example, as supply, you see a big push down, but there's no kind of like liquidation happening or there's no little consolidation area above where people will put their stop loss. What happens is they put the stop loss above that area of supply. So it often gets swiped. So that's why keep in mind, um, yeah, it's not optimal to just start shorting from over here. So looking for longs potentially uh, from this area of demand, we've already seen the initial reaction. So let's see if we can see some follow through. Um, moving on in towards pound dollar, sorry guys, it's still a little bit early. Moving on in towards pound dollar, going in towards the daily. So the daily over here um, has moved all the way back down, uh, reacted to this area of supply beautifully. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people have always been saying to me in the comments I've seen, oh, pound dollar is bullish, pound dollar is bullish. Well, obviously the daily moved down from supply and we've now seen pound dollar continue down lower. Um, so at the moment, what really has happened is that we've broken this overall four hour low. So we're now bearish. So um, ultimately, if you look at it very mechanically, we're bearish from this high in towards this low. Do I expect price to come back all the way in towards the highs? No, I do not. So what I'll be looking for mainly is just trading in between this range over here, keeping an eye open for this supply zone, pretty similar to as on Euro dollar and Aussie dollar, but keeping in mind that there's a lot of liquidity above this high. So we might just tap in towards this higher area of buy before the sell. So keeping that in mind. Um, but yeah, definitely looking for a pullback on all these dollar pairs very, very soon. Going in towards NZD USD. So NZD USD also pushed down lower. Um, this was actually the most beautiful one overall. Um, one that I explained pretty well, I think. Overall, this is kind of like your overall impulse in towards the downside. We then timed this corrective pattern, which caused price to push up higher. We pushed back up in towards this supply zone, tapped it to perfection, and from there we sold off in towards the downside. So a nice setup. And um, yeah, what I'm now looking for pretty much is, okay, we've seen a break of structure. So this means this is your swing high and this is your swing low. So looking for a potential pullback back up in towards the highs, guys. Um, overall, entity USD is actually a little bit cleaner because if we focus on entity USD, this was the fractal low. The fractal low then got broken um, by this high, but this high has now been broken as well. So this pretty much is now, let's say, if we just focus on uh, putting this in, this is kind of like your area of demand now from where we could start moving up higher due to a shift in the fractal structure. So keep that in mind. But obviously, if we go in towards the daily, uh, what you would preferably want to see is this area of daily demand at least get hit here on entity USD before looking for long. So being a little bit safe or hesitant on this Monday on trading entity USD and these major dollar pairs, let's see what direction they want to take it in before really getting in to these uh, yeah, trades. Now, last pair is gold. So gold has pushed down lower on Friday or Thursday. What was it? Friday yeah, with the news. Pushed back down in towards this area of demand has already reacted to it. This is currently the fractal low on the daily. This is the fractal high. So we're still bullish fractal structure wise. And overall, the structure is just bullish in towards the high. So I'm looking for upside continuation. Uh, in all honesty, oh, this is a four hour, excuse me. So you're looking for further upside continuation going in towards the 15 minute time frame. Uh, we've now also uh, broken structure over here. So we broke this high. So yeah, I mean, there's still some liquidity resting below this low. So let's see, we're kind of like in a breakout pattern over here. So we're probably gonna see a big impulse very, very soon. If we just tap below here, look to get into demand, I will look for a long. If we don't see any sign of, let's say, demand picking up inside of here, then what I'll do is I'll just keep an eye out for some lower zones. And we could even break in towards the downside, guys. That wouldn't be a problem because again, there is a lot of liquidity resting below these lows. If we do push down a little bit lower, I'll still be looking for a long, but just with a different strategy, which I'll share inside Discord. So thanks so much, guys, for tuning in to, to today's video. Um, a bit of a market that we're waiting for things to happen, but that is the general update. Wish you all a fantastic Monday and speak soon. Thanks.